Crabs and guns. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator, and welcome to Dayton Dissects of Boyd. This is an RTS where you're controlling little microorganisms and having a microscopic battle. It reminds me a lot of maybe Warhammer or something like that where you just have a whole mass of little troops. There are lots of different classes, as you may have guessed. Here's the unit information. This is your basic unit, and that is exactly what it looks like. Um, 100 attack, 100 defense, 100 speed. Very basic. Crab has more attack, but much, much less speed. It moves extremely slow. The scout is fast as hell. However, it lacks some defense. Uh, but in mass, it is uh, quite a brutal unit. They have the gun, which is the ranged creature. It is uh, good against the next one, which is extremely difficult if you just have crabs and scouts, which is the bomb. It is a kamikaze microorganism that basically wipes out uh, entire <laughs> entire spawn pools in just a hit. Venom shoots poison from a distance and uh, does a DOT. The healer is next, or the medic, and it cures poisons as well as healing your units, obviously. The leech immobilizes and slowly kills enemy units. Uh, not all of these will be on any map at the same time, unless it's a custom map, which is coming soon. You can use commander skills such as freeze, clear, and teleport as well. So here is my pool, where my little creatures live. Really easy controls. Uh, highlight with left click. You can do a group or just a unit. And then you right click to move them, and they seem to know what to do from there. Which is beat up all these little blue dudes who are independent. The guy that I'm trying to kill is the red guy, who presumably lives on this side of the map, although it's covered with a weird, like, fog award thing. So I can't see it, really. I'm gonna go ahead and send these units over to try and take this far spawner. It's important to take the spawners first instead of trying to immediately jab in on the scout or crab bases because then you keep your basic units up, which is the most important thing. Turning them into a class is secondary to actually having them. Because <laughs> you can't turn them into a class if you don't have them. Ain't that right? Okay, so we seem to have all the spawners locked down. I'm gonna move these guys up. We'll take the crab base just to try and uh, get sort of a defense going right here, because this is the only choke point on the map. And funnily enough, the map is called Choke Point. <laughs> it is uh, not a custom map or anything. So now we've got some crabs, let's start moving them to the center. Oh, and here come some, some babby units. Nope, 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 get out of here. You don't belong here. Okay. So now we've got some guns and some basic crab units. It looks like I've got enough in this spawner to go and take that scout uh, outpost, so we will. And that's pretty easy because the basic units have more strength than the scouts. I want to zap these guys before they get anywhere in my base. More guns. We're running low on reinforcements. So I sent some scouts up. And Look how fast they move compared to everything. I generally like to use scouts to try and win the game. Let's get some more guns. More guns. Or crabs. Okay, so now we've got our little choke point going here, and it's uh, holding relatively well. Obviously we are losing some units. If I wanted to break off like a regiment from this, I could uh, highlight the entire unit and then click this negative button, and that will reduce the amount of units that I'm moving. 
Oh, I need to get the guns and crabs over here. Before everything turns into a mess. I want more scouts. Now, eventually, there will be the ability to direct your basic units to evolve themselves, basically. Because you'll, you might notice that I have quite a bit uh, stacking up at some points. Alright, looks like we're choking them out pretty, rel relatively well. So I've got a nice, nice big army going. And I'm going to take the scouts and try and take their spawner. See how that goes. We'll get rid of their ranged units. That should help. We need the crabs. More crabs. Uh oh. Get that scout! Don't let him through! The scouts are extremely dangerous. Okay, so now I've got to take about half of these crabs and I'm going to post them up near this thing. So we can be safe! Hold your territory and whatnot. I'd like some more scouts because I have depleted them. They've all turned into the the gun unit. Oop, that basic unit almost got through. Alright, and we got some more scouts. We will go and try and scoop this spawner up. They seem to have a regiment coming, but I think we'll hold relatively well. Yeah, we got a lot of crabs and guns. Crabs and guns! Okay, so now we've scooped up their spawner. It should help uh, in pushing them out even further. Okay, more crabs, more crabs. You, 23, I'm gonna make them all scouts. Kinda forgot about that one over there. Okay, here come a couple crab units down here. We are not gonna let them retake anything. Give them no quarter! Ooh, look at all these scouts, nice and cooked. Come down this way, boys. Uh oh. Get them! Don't let them retake it. This is ours! Bah, 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 bah. That is a horrifying sight. So I'm gonna pinch over this way now. And they should, yeah. They kinda of try and fall back when they see a giant thing moving behind their lines, but. Doesn't generally work! Kill that guy. Kill him dead. Alright, so I'm gonna move my regiment up further. Scouts, scouts, scouts. They are weaker, but my god are they fast. Need to get something to the front line? We got it. And I'm gonna move the guns a little further back. Stay behind the wall of crabs! 75 of them, Jesus. How are you even gonna... You can't. Alright, scouts are all cooked. Go take that thing back. There's more guns. Here comes the cavalry! Da -da -da -da. <laughs> it is horrifying. Go ahead, take the take the spawner unit. Nom nom nom. We grow hungry. There's no way they can take that many crabs. And now, we do the finishing blow. I will take their last spawner, and that will end it. Da 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 da! <laughs> Need like Flight of the Valkyries playing or something. 
Be crushed beneath me. Victory! Now you can play online, which would increase the difficulty significantly. Uh, but that is a little showcase of the basic classes. So friends, this has been Boyd, an ultra awesome RTS about little microscopic organisms waging a gigantic war. <laughs> I sincerely enjoyed it. I give the game a solid 7 out of 10, uh, as I think that there will be more depth added to it, as it is still in early access. So, once again, this has been Boyd. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I sincerely hope you'll join us next time, friends. Until then, bye! One, two, three, four Goodbye, goodbye, see you again Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend